quickly, like you saw in the intro. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. And that's something different. It's not totally different, like you saw. It was, I'm talking, I'm telling a story about a time, about a trip, a hunting trip, with my three good friends. Um, and we're, we went mule deer hunting. And so, if you don't like these these kind of things, these stories and stuff, um, then let's, I mean, go come back to the next episode. I'll probably have some, some crusty fishing video or something. But anyway, now that they're gone, let's get into the video. Alright, so I got this little scrapbook right here. And, um,. This is where I'm going to put all my travel photos. It's December of 2016. There's a photo right there. That is a picture. That right there is like Saddle Mountain or something like that because it kind of has like the U shape of a, of a uh, saddle. So, yeah. And look at all that, that landscape back there. We were taking a picture, you know, just for memories right there. And I think that was the. First day, I believe, this picture was uh, me and my two friends. Uh, one of my friends said, alright, I'm going to take your picture. And the other one was like, alright, well, let's act like we're doing something important. So he said, look over here where I'm pointing. So it looks like we're looking at something cool. So I'm smiling because I know we're doing that. And that guy's just, he's just, yeah, he's just doing his thing. And this kid right here, we actually, uh, he actually missed. Uh, a mule deer right here because we were you know mule deer hunting and he missed a little uh, he missed a mule deer on that mountain right there it, it was a pretty pretty easy shot and it was a good buck so we weren't very happy with that but things that's why they call it hunting uh, this was a snow day uh, it snowed on like the second or third day and it was like real real cold so cold that the icicles froze on the plants and um, I was smiling there well, because I'm awesome. Oh no, because we were, um, the guys taking the picture saying, well, make sure you don't eat the yellow popsicle. And we were talking about those, those little things there. And make, yeah, that's, just make sure you don't eat yellow snow. That's why I was smiling or laughing or whatever. That is a sunset. I don't believe, I don't know which day that is. Um, uh, right there. Another sunset of the same one, right, right there. That was us on that snow day. The first day it, it snowed. I have a video of the snow. Let's play right now. Me and me and that guy right there. We had some snowball fights right there on that same day. We all we just decided like oh, oh well, we're gonna go out. I mean we're here. We took a long drive. It was like a not. It was like a nine hour drive for us. So we're like, oh, we're we're out here. We're gonna, let's go out. And so uh, we we ended up going out. And uh, this was a tank the owner, the landowner built. Um, it's obviously very cold. We're all in our coveralls. And I think we had five or six layers on. Our sunsets. There's one. There's one right there. There's another right there. Here's another layer. That was the first morning we were there. Uh, we were all obviously excited about being there. That one right here, this one right here, uh, this this fella right here um, went up up a mountain, and it was like 300 yards art yards up, and so it was like it was very steep too. And so we're like, heck no, we ain't going up there. I mean, we spotted the audacity. That's what this ugly thing is called. And um, we spotted the Audads, and this this fella right here said, I'll, I'll go up there and shoot him. So he, he went all the way up there, and he he set up by a yucca plant, and he went, bad and then them Audads come running up to him, and he shot one. He cut the head off and brought it back down to us. So um, 30, this this Audad was 30, had a 31-inch length I think or width or whatever uh, but that's like a trophy up there um, I, but if you don't if you guys don't know 
all dads are a, a nuisance up there because they breed with the, the female female bighorn sheep or whatever instead of the the rams the rams breeding with them so then all dads are born and there's they're pretty much like hogs they're just they stink and they yeah those that one stinked a lot that one's that, that one's bad that one right there that was a picture of me by um out of the of the mountain range with me i think that was the third day but we were pretty much we were what we were doing we were um Riding around on the four wheelers, uh, spotting for mule deer and and all dads. So pretty much what you do, if you don't know West Texas, you you ride four wheelers to a spot, and then you sit there for like 30 minutes and glass. And what you do, you throw rocks down draws and stuff because they might be laying down there to uh, to get out of the wind. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I got some other photos. I'm gonna do a voiceover with them also. All right, so the photo you're looking at right now is a photo of us going towards West Texas and there was a cut in the mountain and it was also getting late it was about a nine hour drive so we were just getting started or we were probably about halfway pretty close probably first, it's the first day of us being there at West Texas of, of it was the first day of our hunting trip in West Texas a beautiful sunrise and we we're all trying to capture the moment I wish I had a time lapse pretty much the landscape of West Texas that's, that's pretty much all what West Texas is like uh, desert plants not a lot of rain um, barren pretty much I mean um, there is mountains that's about it this photo is the, the snow day today it snowed and it was, I think it was like 20 degrees and we just considered not going out going out uh, hunting but we said oh well we're going out and um, it was so cold that we had a package of 48 bottles of water and only two were unfrozen so all the bottles were frozen up uh, i think i had six layers on that morning and i was still freezing cold i tell you what we were on the way to this trip to uh, west texas as you can see it's very barren land but towards uh to west texas and this we stopped at a hotel like about halfway a little little more than half this guy was snoring so loud that me and this, this young fellow right here, this gentleman right here, could not sleep. And I took two Advils, and I also put earplugs in, and I also, and I still couldn't go to sleep. I only got like two hours of sleep. I, I went, I think I finally went to bed about four o'clock, and we woke up at six to drive all the way to finish up the drive. And we, we stopped and ate a lot. This guy right here, he actually fell. He actually tripped on a rock. And he, had, he, him and me actually had to go to the nearest town, which was 30 minutes away, and get stitches like right under his knee. And about a month later, he, he got infected again somehow. And those two, those two guys right there, they stayed in hunt while we went, had to go to a, a nearby big enough town that has an ER so he could get his leg stitched up. And yeah, it was, it was fun. But it was hard hunting. Uh, that, was, that was my first ever hunting trip. So yeah, hope m many more to come. Hopefully this 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 book is filled up by the time of 60, 70. Thank you.